Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 3. So, today I did get some uh, deck suggestions, mainly from a uh, commenter. K-Man is great, so thank you very much for those. Um, I'm going to go in and actually make some now. So, um, his recommendations were put in a few... So, we talked a little bit about um, putting in higher level um, just monsters in general, so that I could... Uh, take the fights, um, I could just destroy the opponents, but thing is, like, I have a few, like, I have Guilford, I have, uh, Guilford the Legend, um, I have, where is he? Where is he? I don't remember the name. Is he not in here anymore? No, I swear we have, yeah, Freed the Matchless General. So we have some, but we don't really have a huge amount, um, that are useful for us. Um, so, what... Or we have some, but I don't want to add too many more in because I don't feel like they'll be very useful. Because if I add in too many very high level monsters, we can get in the situation where we have them and we don't have any low level monsters to play. And if they require two tributes, uh, like if they're seven or eight stars, um, it's going to be very hard to get them on the field. So his other suggestion, which I am going to try and implement into the deck, is uh, more traps. So, we kind of got to look at uh, what we have in terms of traps, and then see if there is uh, any that we can... Uh, come on, search menu. Oh, hold on. Let me do this. See if there's any we want to add in, and if not, we can go buy some. Um, card frame, I want it to be a trap. Come on, come on, there we go. Trap. Gotcha, alright, so hero merges, no, 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 absolute, thanks for your opponent, absolute end, uh, saves my monsters, not me, which I don't really like, I can see the usefulness of it, but I don't think it's useful enough, all out attacks, no, An unfortunate report, I don't get that, uh, I, I guess it has synergy with some things, but, Uh, there are monsters on the field. No. Uh, no, no, no. We want more, um, basic spells, like, uh, just negate attack, you know. That sort of stuff. All oh, monsters in both opponents' graveyards. Mm. I, that would be to counter, like, exactly, uh, exactly, like, Monster Reborn. But, um... I, uh, there's a lot of decks that benefit from removal from play cards, so it's kind of like, uh, doesn't really help. Useful at the target of the attack. That's actually kind of useful. But I do, I don't know if that, um, I don't know if Call of the Earthbound would supersede the minion of the monster effects on some of the warriors that I have that are like, they can only attack this card. That's not very useful. Chain material? No, no, no. Cloak and dagger. Cross counter. If the defensive and defensive position monster is higher than the attack of your attacking monster. Hmm. That would only really be good if, uh, Big, Big Show Gardner is on the field. Destiny board? DNA, DNA, DNA. Earthshaker, not really useful. Elemental Burst isn't really useful. Energy Drain isn't really useful. Do we have any, like, negate attacks? We have Gravity Bind. Which, I guess, would allow my weaker monsters to attack, but that would just mainly make a, uh... That would mainly be for making a burn deck, and I don't have the cards for that. I'd love to have the cards for that, but... I just don't right now. Kid Guard, that's for Hero Kid, which we don't have. Light Imprisoning Mirror, no. Magical Hats... No. Hmm. 
mirror wall might be nice. No, 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 I don't want that. I don't really want mirror wall. I might need to go buy some more traps. Portable battery pack, psychic trigger, pyro cloak. Really, eternal rest is very situational, but I can see where it would be useful. It'd kind of be like an absolute counter. I can equip my equip spells to his cards and then remove them. Uh, reinforcements isn't that great. I kind of like Royal Decree. I kind of like having that. Because I'm getting shut down by a lot of trap cards, Royal Decree might be a good one. I'm thinking about it. I think I might put that in. I might throw two copies of that in. Because trap cards are really like a pain for me to deal with. And that would at least uh, cost them a spell. One face-up monster during each of your standby phases. Shattered Axe might also be fine. I don't know. Shattered Axe would be good for removing big minions. Like, that would be its specific thing. I don't think it's useful enough to add in. Taunt. That's nah, just basically... Uh, the effects of the minions I already have. Nah. I like, I like adding in Threatening Roar. It's basically a negate attack. Type 0 Magic Crusher, Virus Cannon. Yeah, we don't have any, like, negate attacks, but that, I think that card's good to add in. Um, I am gonna buy a few more traps right now, and then maybe some continuous spells. Let's see if we can get anything good out of it. I love some cards. Um, so probably buy them out of, like, the basic beginner traps. I don't know how many we'll buy. Probably by like 10. 10. There we go. Um, intermediate traps will buy five of them. And then we'll buy um, field spell cards. Not really that useful. Uh, expert traps actually? Yeah, let's get some expert traps too. Yeah, let's just buy them all. Alright, let's see if we get anything good out of this. Uh, grave Robber, no, no. Grave Lair, Conscription, no. Energy Drain, Virus Cannon, Bubble Crash. House of Adhesive Tape. 500 points or less, no, that's not that useful. Thunder of Ruler is interesting, but no. Rope of Life, what is that? Uh... That would kind of be a last-ditch effort. Don't really want that. It's mainly what I want my traps to do is just keep the stuff on the board on the board. I don't really want them to be there to try to return stuff to the board because I have enough minions that I don't think I need to do that. My deck's not really designed around putting a lot of stuff back onto the board from the graveyard. Order of the Emperor. Uh, no. Fairy's Hand Mirror, Telepathic Power. Curse of Anubis, no. Until the end of that turn, that monster plays 700 attack. So that would kind of be like a another last, like, not last ditch effort, but a little like... And that's very, uh, situational. Reverse trap. Yeah, so not, not a huge amount of, uh, useful cards. I mean, straight flush is kind of situational, like it might work in some situations. 
Probably gonna have to duel to get a, some more DP for future decks. But yeah, once again, I mean, I don't... Let's look at what we have in here. The ninjas I don't feel are super useful. But I think one of each is fine. I think especially Crimson Ninja and uh, Arm Ninja are useful. I don't know so much about White Ninja, which I think is the other one. But it, that one's got a good bit of health, so it's useful just in general. And I like Warrior Lady. They're a very good card. Torrential Tribute, I might remove. Nah, I kind of like having it there. That's a good, like, absolute counter. Shield Crush, doesn't see much use, but it is useful. Um, I did want to take out some of my equip spells. Uh, where are they? Like, um, Axe of Deep-Seated Hatred is not a very good one. I think I already got rid of that one. Um, because I don't want them to be returned to my deck. If you offer one, so it turns the top of your deck. Yeah, like... That's a good one just to counter big big guys. Dust Tornado's fine. Um, so let's look at some spells. Oh, whoops, nope. Narrow search, card frame, spell. There's 165 of them, all right. Uh... Wasteland, not really useful. That's kind of useful. A 700 life points to switch the attack and defense of a monster. Yeah, but it runs out the next turn, I don't know. I mean, I can see the usefulness, but again, I don't know if it's a... Uh... Tribute Dull would let me put, like, uh, Gilford on the field, or Gilford, whatever it is. Shallow Grave. Hmm, that brings stuff back. Terraforming gives me, uh, Sogan, which I don't really need that much. Switch one equip spell to another correct target. That might be nice. Sword of Deep-Seated Hatred I do not want. It's sword, not axe. Change it to attack position. Stop it. That might be useful. But I think its usefulness is overshadowed, but I might still put it in. I'm gonna put one in. I mean, it might be useful. I might be taking that one out pretty soon, though. Space Gift, Soul Taker. I might do that one too, because I don't really care that much about life points. It might just be nice to have high removal. So I'd probably put that one in too. Share the pain. Mm. Revoke fusion. Probably just does what it sounds like, gets rid of fusion. So I don't think most of these are very good. Mira Viata, eh, no. So let's just try this. Yeah, let's just try this deck. Because I added a few extra cards. I know everybody's always yelling at me, you need 40 cards in the deck and whatever. But, uh, I don't know. This might work. Let's try dueling someone we've lost to before. Let's try dueling Nathan. So I'll duel, and then we will see how these changes to the deck work. That's a draw. Do the same thing, and he wins. Alright. Second. Oh no. Hi, Dios mio. Okay. 
Um, none of these are great right off the bat. We'll set bottomless trap hole. We'll activate reinforcement of the army. Let's see what we want. Uh, that lets us control what we get next turn. I'm gonna put the commander on the f command knight on the field. And then we'll set Dust Tornado and end our turn. Let's see. Not it? Not yet. Um... I don't want to play too much into anything, so I think I'm just going to play Comrade, uh, Comrade Swordsman. It's not the strongest thing in the world. Not the worst thing if it just gets destroyed here. Which it might... Nope. Alright. So, yeah. Oh, there it is. He wanted to get rid of that one. That's what I thought. Um... I could chain it into destroying his other card. That leaves him no traps on the field, it puts me in a decent... Mm. No, 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 no. I don't want to do that. So I kind of figured he had another, uh, thing. Oh, wow. Well. So you just- oh wow, that's nice. We can actually just get rid of that with a trap pole. Wait, can we? What is that card's effect, though? Yeah, let's just get rid of it. Almost trap pole. And it gets removed from play. That was a nice opener from him, though. I think I will use Dust Tornado here. I'm gonna push for damage. I'm gonna push for a lot of damage. Oh, we're not gonna set anything. Yeah, because what card was that? Hold on, I wanna see what card, though. I wanna see what card that was. <laughs> nah, so that wasn't too useful, but I think it could've screwed me, and I don't really wanna be screwed right now. So I think I'm just going to add that card back to my hand, because I think it's a great card to have. And then we're going to play Hayabusa Knight to just push for a ton of damage this turn. Now it's going to be a uh, good bet. It's going to take him about half what he has now. I wish I drew an equip spell. He might have been dead. <laughs> eh, no, I don't have any equip spells. How much damage would I have needed? Over a thousand, so. Probably not gonna be dead, but that's a good bit of a uh, damage we get to push onto him. Oh! Oh, we win! Oh, we won that game. Because all we have to do is play Mystic Swordsman. It just dies. And we'll equip that to this card. Yeah, because that just dies. Oh. There's no way he can do anything about it, so we win! Oh, that was a quick one. We didn't really use any of our new cards in the deck, but, you know, it worked out. Just able to hold the board. I mean, that's kind of the power of the deck. If I'm able to get the synergies going early on, we can do a lot of damage. It's kind of a risky play to, uh... I'm gonna duel this guy, too. It's kind of a risky play to... I don't want to talk. I wanted to duel. Um... To clear the board of traps early, because he could have played a big one. But I figured it was worth the, worth the risk. 
over to Scissors. Alright, he wins. So he's probably gonna go second. Yep. Always the best choice. Alright. So we got Lightning Vortex, which is pretty decent. Um. Let's use Reinforcement of the Army to get a good one out early. I just like getting Command Knight out early if I can, because if you can't get a good counter for it going, um, I have Hayabusa Knight next turn for a pretty good, uh... Pretty good counter, or pretty good chunk of damage. Um, we'll set Lightning Vortex too. And the reason I played the equip spell on that card specifically was because I wanted to uh, have the have it survive if it got attacked. Um, we're gonna play Mystic Swordsman level two to attack that face down monster. The only reason Mystic Swordsman level 2 is in the deck. So it just gets destroyed. And we'll just go face that. It looks like a normal monster, actually. Yeah, it was. <laughs> yeah, it did not have much health. So if he doesn't have a counter for this, he loses next turn. Hmm. Banisher of the Radiance. Lose 300, not a huge amount. Um, do I win? So that would do, let's see, this gives everything plus 400. Um, gives everything plus 400, so that would be 1400, that'd be 2800 plus 2400, which is 5200, so it's not quite enough. So we won't do it yet. We'll set this. We'll just kill it. Alright. But he does lose next turn if he doesn't kill off my uh, Command Knight. Then he plays an attack position monster. It's another Banisher of the Radiance. Because using Lightning Storm I can just clear the board. That big shield gardener will get turned to attack, but that's fine. Um, I don't think this was the guy that had a uh, three attack position clear. Um, so that would give me that because I don't have any other equip spells. I just want to avoid that three kill, if I can. Actually, I can do it with that, but let's see, that would give it plus 800, right? Plus 800 gives him 34, that's not enough. Well, 34 plus, oh, that's 200. Um, I'd say let's wipe his board. And then just use A forces and go for it. Is that enough? That's 2800 plus 900, that's 37. I kinda gotta go for this one. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have the three clear. Yep, looks like he doesn't. So that's good, that's lucky. If that was the, the three attacking monster clear, that would have been pretty dangerous. <laughs> but it was the only way to kill him quick. Alright, so. So, so far the deck's doing well. Um, we haven't really drawn any of the new cards we added in. Um, it's doing pretty decently though. So I think we'll just keep it going for now. Again, any suggestions you guys have in the future, be I would love to hear if you guys know how to unlock any new card packs in the shop that I could uh, 
use to gain some cool new uh, spells, traps, or monsters. I'd really appreciate hearing it. Other than that, have a fantastic night, and hope to see you guys next time for another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Tag Force 3. Goodbye.